The violence we see in America and we saw recently in Australia against black people represents something about a culture that we all should be ashamed of that one individual in a uniform or not uh, can attack another one brutally like that and cause them injury or death it lowers the whole of the human race it doesn't just lower the individual it makes the whole human race look like <coughs> primitives the whole human race is not primitive of course the sad part about America and, uh, at the moment with all this violence <coughs> is specifically Specifically, it's fallen into the trap of the left. Everyone wants to suddenly blame Donald Trump. Donald Trump's not responsible for any violence in America. The, everyone committing acts of violence in America, whether they be black or white, it is down to them as an individual with a precondition in themselves, a psychological condition, that predisposes them to act violently Act, have a violent fantasy, they've got inside of them have a violent fantasy, they want to act out and now there's come about a chance to act out a violent fantasy against the state, against individuals against whatever, or looting, I want to be a looter and it must be something to do with all the movies that Americans make about end of world events starring one of their great heroes like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Tom Hanks, whoever it is they have as a sort of a hero that saves the day and uh, where are the heroes now in America saving the day where's Arnold Schwarzenegger to clear these crowds but the thing is they, it's everyone wants to blame someone else for their own violence and all the black people in America who I have great sympathy with but at the same time they ought to listen to Candace Owens was a black lady who was trying to tell them they're falling into a trap of victim and victimhoodism, if you like. So if you continually think you're a victim, you're a victim, you're a victim, you get told and it's reiterated into your mind constantly, then it's a very regressive and negative thing to happen to the human soul and the human spirit and the human mind. It, it curtails learning, it curtails uh, stop people wanting better than themselves because they're a victim, the down and out, whatever. Because it's a st human life is a struggle, wherever you are. In some places it's a bigger struggle than all others. In America, the corporate system in America, which is criminals as far as I'm, many of us are concerned, obviously, they're there and they have no human value towards humans other, other than what they can be used in a corporate system to create debt for or get into rentals or whatever, humans no longer have a value to the corporate system in America which is another sad reflection and America is a brutal place in other words there's so many homeless people in America that in itself is a great shame and shows a brutal society but the other thing about all the black people uh, complaining about violence is that I, and I don't understand why they're not marching against the violence amongst themselves which is the greatest cause of death and despair and destruction of uh, the black people of America or anywhere is how they treat each other how they treat the women and now many women have single have, have become single mothers and you got all these children we know fathers as an example all great good fathers as an example it's not black people itself it's a human conditioning from an early age which causes people to be predisposed to act violently or join gangs or to find a brotherhood or whatever. It's not black people, it has nothing to do with it at all, it's not white people either. They like to make this as a racial thing, but it's not. And that's created into the minds of people through down through the years. And yes, racism is a part of life, but racism is also a biological thing. Look at the Chinese, they can get away with being as racist as they like. That's cool for some reason, that's very cool. They're allowed to be really racist in China against foreigners. <laughs> and so you can see that, that it's more like a, a mass tribalism, if you like, what causes uh, people to see them differently, but also it gets down to education, culture, and the actual upbringing of the people, of the individual, 
whether they turn out to be violent or not. And all those thousands of people, blacks in particular, getting arrested in America at the moment for acting violently and looting and burning, they're going to end up in jail, but add more people in jail of their own. And what have they resolved? Nothing. They just made the place just made the situation worse. They've created more black people in jail. And they've fallen for it. The black people are falling for the left's politically correct bullshit, which predisposes a lot of people who've not got any personal ambition to better themselves by working hard or you know, and whatever. And, and it's not automatically, automatically true, that's the case. But a lot of people are now live in despair about the climate and whatever. There's all sorts of things being put in the head by the conditioning through the universities and the media about the end of the world scenario, which America seems to live on. It seems to live at the end of the world scenario all the time. And that is a conditioning now. We want to blame the state for climate change. Well, you know, without all that energy used, then all these people will be living in abject poverty like some poor people in Africa. Well, they don't uh, go have a look how the people in Africa live in a pre-fossil fuel system and see if that's how you want to live. You can't suddenly change your system overnight, but they want that and they don't even know, understand what they're asking for. It's up to the individual whether they act violent or not. It's not a racial thing. There are beautiful black people all over the world I spend many good, uh, wonderful times and years with black people, they're wonderful and gentle people, one hurt a fly. So it's nothing to do with black men, it's white people, certainly, or extremely humane. And how many black people uh, migrate into black countries? There's some of that, but uh, a lot of uh, black people want to migrate desperate to get into Europe, which is a white, dominated by white people. Why do black people want to get into racist countries if it, whites are all racist like it's all said to be? It, none of it makes sense. The, the whole discussion about violence is incoherent and it's sort of, sort of a madness created by the media, by the politics, by the divisive politics especially and this the destruction of democracy which is what exactly this is all about, the destruction of Western democracy by attacking the very core of it by saying all whites are racist and all whites are bad and all that well you know it's just not only untrue it's offensive that is racist itself that's creating that's creating racial tension by putting that propaganda out i don't know any bad white people maybe i'm fussy oh i know but and uh, you know and, so maybe it's a, a thing that people need to reflect philosophically on rather than uh, racially or through the politics because without that philosophical discussion an open dialogue and open free speech which is what's missing here in the left of curtail free speech so you get attacked for free speaking freely like I'm doing now you can be attacked in America and in Australia and in Britain I suppose because someone doesn't like free speech and only free speech is the only way in the world to resolve this problem and bit listening is even a more important value in solving the problems that America has uh, other than violence because if you don't listen and not allowed to talk then violence is what happens in states that stop free speech. Violence is what happens when people no longer listen to the other side's point of view. That is the cause of violence. Wherever it's, wherever the colour has nothing to do with violence. It's a predisposition in individuals caused by the conditioning of their background. That's all it is, it's a human condition. Until humanity grows out of that, well I'm sorry, uh, whether it's human or not just yet is co actually contentious from an evolutionary point of view whether the human race is actually an advanced species is totally contentious in America right now it's showing it's a primitive state of being that they're living and it's a great shame